Leanne and Greg and we're still renovating. Uh, we're working around the chimney at the moment, fixing up the stud walls and we've got our first stud piece in and now we're going to put in the archway. Um, so that's what Greg will do next. But at the moment he's cutting away all the old stud wall so we can get a clearer picture. So here comes the stud wall coming out. Now that other new piece that's there on your left is a part of the low bearing wall. Um, so that new piece is holding up the ceiling at the moment. I don't know the technical names of everything so I'm just showing you what we're doing. What we're doing now is we've taken the whole stud wall there off. We've got it braced and we're going to put in the, what do you call it, Greg? Mm, we're going to put in the uh, cross beam and then the down beams to make an opening. That big green round pole you see is holding up the roof because it's a low bear, bearing roof there and we needed something to brace it with. So we just used what we had. Right, we have just put in the cross beam for the archway. As you can see it's up there, the big thick square one. Um, and now we're going to put the uprights to hold that up and then we should be able to cut away all the other pieces. So that's what we're up to at the moment. So there's the big beam up top. And there's a new cross uh, up right there on the left hand side. And as you come up you can see the cross beam. So there you go. Right, as you can see we've got the cross beam now, we've got one up right there on your right hand of the screen. Right side of the screen you can see the upright to hold that top beam up. We're just putting in the second beam over there to the left as you can see. And then that will finish off the archway in the hallway to the lounge. So when that's done I'll show you some more film. There you go ladies and gentlemen, we've finished, we've done the uprights, the beam across and that's the opening into the next rooms. So we've got the two uprights and the cross beam. And that's it, that's exactly what the opening looks like now. There's the floor, then the both beams come up. To the cross beam and that's our opening so that's been hard morning's work what do you say greg okay as you can see we're taking all the jip rock off the walls um and we're opening the four rooms up together to make into one and um, we're slowly going about that. So that's all we're doing at the moment is taking the jig rock off and then we'll take the stud walls out as well. See now we've taken off the jip rock on this side and there it is there and 
if we come back over to here, we can see where the opening is and all the jib rock. And if we go over to this side, it goes out to the front door and into those other rooms. So this jib rock wall here that you're looking at with that blue stud wall will be all pulled out and pushed out. There's another room on the other side of that. There was a walk-in wardrobe and we're going to rip it all out to make it into a huge big room. So that's what we're up to at the moment. The jib rock's down. Now we're going to take that blue stud wall out and the jib rock on the other side. Then we'll start on the walk-in wardrobe. As you can see, we've broken through that wall, that false wall that was there. And we've come down taken off all the dip rock and that room is huge. We have the fireplace, this room where the fireplace is, and then it goes straight into that room. And if you look over there on the left, you see some light from a window that's... The other lounge room will be breaking through that as well, making this into one huge, complete room. At the end of the day, we've finally cut through two rooms. Not sure about those beams there, those up, up ones, those vertical ones. We're not sure whether that's a low bearing part of the house. We've been told it isn't but we're not sure. So we'll go with our gut reaction and we'll put another beam up there and two uprights and a beam. Just like we did here in this front one here in the front kitchen lounge. So that room there now has been opened up. You can see right up on the ceiling there's an Illumi which is a solar power battery operated light that comes in when it's sunny during the day so you've got light in a dark room because that room was completely dark and we've crashed through that wall and that wall and once we do that the lounge two lounges and that second or third bedroom that we're standing in will be one complete room it'll be an l shape and it'll be massive so that's all we've done for today um, for the weekend it's really really looking uh, dirty and we're just cleaning up all that jip rock um, so until we see you next time please take care everyone particularly on the roads it's bye from me and bye from Greg bye Greg